guys i think crunchyroll might be even stronger than thanos because uh, one or two days ago crunchyroll actually uh, took out their entire comment section they were all like yeah uh, no more comments uh, we're deleting it all we're taking it out no one can comment on anything else and that's that that's it this is an imaginary opening theme song theme song oh. what makes me say that you might ask here you go crunchyroll has this on their website now it says why is crunchyroll disabling comments at Crunchyroll, we prioritize creating a safe and respectful community environment. To maintain the standard, we are removing all existing user-generated content, including comments, across all our platforms and experiences. The user rating system will, however, remain allowing you to express your opinions through star ratings. And then if you go to any um, title whatsoever, you'll see that uh, when you scroll down, usually there was a bunch of comment sections right here, but now the, it's completely gone. So it looks very barren. I will say it's like incredibly barren right here. Like where everything is gone. Normally you would have like a lot of comments around this section. You know, see, you say show more. It just shows you the audio subtitles and all that, you know. Normally under that would have been the comment section, but now it's completely gone. Now let's talk about why did this happen? Why did Crunchyroll suddenly just uh, completely remove all of his comments from everything and anything on their site? Well, some say it was due to because um, someone wrote a comment on a Boys Love or BL anime that was... Uh, not good and that was the catalyst that made them do this some others speculate maybe it's because you know there was a new series that released on crunchyroll for the summer season and people thought maybe ai translation was used to make the subtitles for that because there was like small mistakes here and there at least that's what you know the screenshots showed like the mistakes weren't that uh, big or anything but they say maybe it was because they were receiving backlash perhaps for the AI uh, translated subtitles. Who is to say, really? Uh, it could have been just that they were planning on doing this. And this just was the right opportunity. They were all like, yeah, just flip the switch and go for it. But whatever the reason is, it does look more barren now. And it's kind of sad to, you know see that any comments is just completely gone now and Crunchyroll has been around for like 10 plus years at this rate so it's like 10 plus years worth of comments just went like poof and that's it I don't know maybe they're trying to do like a Netflix thing because on Netflix you know there's no comments ever but that's the way Netflix started in the first place you weren't able to comment so maybe they saw how YouTube comments can go crazy and they decided, yeah, we don't want comments and all that. So it doesn't look weird when you watch stuff on Netflix because you, there was never a comment section. But it looks very weird and it feels weird when you, you go to Crunchyroll now and the, there's like, you try to scroll down, there's no comments and all that. Uh, maybe they found it tough to regulate the comments. Maybe they were all like, yeah, we can't keep up with uh, all of the nasty comments or like uh, negative comments or like hateful comments or something like that and they were all like yeah the, maybe they were starting to get infested by bot comments like how youtube is currently infested with a lot of bot comments perhaps perhaps who knows who knows but what are your thoughts about this do you agree with crunchyroll taking out the comment section completely i think it would have been better if they just you know, maybe had a bit more uh, regulations and have people, uh, you know, filter out the comment section rather than just completely uh, make it go whoosh and like, you know, not even give anyone any warning or anything. Like, I thought personally something was happening with the site when I noticed the comments just weren't there anymore and I even refreshed the page to 
try to see, you know, if it was just on my side, but then no, it was like everyone else is having the same thing as well, so. I don't know, I, I feel like Crunchyroll did a very extreme thing, because like, even if the speculations of why they did it could be true, it's just, you know, the scale of it is just unbalanced to me, and it just feels weird. But would you continue to use Crunchyroll, even though now the comments are gone? Would you try to go look for somewhere else? Because, you know, sometimes we just don't have uh, people, you know, that are into the same things as us and all that. And sometimes it's nice to just see other people commenting and seeing that they also enjoyed the show that you might have enjoyed. Or maybe they uh, pointed out something that you didn't know about, perhaps, you know? Like, comment sections don't always have to be just about the negativity. It could just be about, you know, people having fun reading other people's comments or just, like, you know, distracting yourself from whatever it is you're going through. Who knows? Who knows? But, yeah, hopefully uh, the comment section comes back. But if it doesn't, uh, it is going to take a while to get used to it for all those Crunchyroll users that might have been using the site for years and years and years, you know? Like, the only reason why I'm using it is because of a friend of mine. Yeah, thank you very much, friend. <laughs> but, yeah. Let me know what your thoughts are. And like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. But, bye bye Thanks for watching.